Okay, we're passing by the fountain again. And as you can see, there's a rider stopped there, getting some of the really good water. And uh, we're beginning our descent. This again is a completely different uh, road than the one we took to come up. This last stretch here is uh, fairly steep. Fortunately, it's not too long, but uh, it's definitely steep. Here to our left, you can't see it, but it's the, uh, um, the communal parking. Because uh, when there's any kind of activity, they don't allow any cars in Oslo. They actually block them to traffic, and you can only walk. So there's a big communal parking uh, there on the left-hand side. Now here we go. This is the hospital right in front of us. And that's the reason why this climb or this road is called the hospital road. Um, we're leaving the town of Oslo as we're going down. We're going towards the Pianura Padovana, which is uh, the Padua Flats. And actually, this uh, at the end of these hills where the Asolo, where Asolo is, which is called the Colli Asolani, it extends, it's totally flat all the way to Venice. We're about 55 kilometers from Venice and approximately a, an hour's ride considering traffic. That's where the Venice airport is and that's where I usually come into since it's the closest closest airport to, uh, to Oslo. Now we're almost to the bottom of the hill and uh, I'd like to then bring you uh, to a place where you can actually see a, a um, panoramic view, so to speak, of Asolo. And I can show you the, uh, the hills that uh, are alongside Asolo, which is a very, very beautiful area for riding and excellent wine country. Right in front of us, by the way, it's Sella Italia. And uh, most of you who probably are familiar with this uh, very, very famous Italian saddle, bicycle saddle manufacturer. This area in particular is, is really incredible, the amount of, uh, of cycling industry that there is here from uh, Campagnolo to Salitalia uh, uh, to Diadora to Gaerne to Sidi, uh, Pinarello. I mean, you name it and uh, it's a who's who on Italian cycling is uh, right from this area. One of the things that we usually try to do is visit some of these factories and uh, get some really nice prices in many cases from the uh, manufacturers themselves.